Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Try to watch it all the way in, all the way out. It's that effort to make it all the way that makes a difference. Remember, the Buddha taught three qualities in training the mind. There's mindfulness, keeping something in mind. There's alertness, where you watch what you're doing and you see the results of what you're doing. And then there's ardency, trying to do this well. It's the ardency that makes the mindfulness continuous, the ardency that makes the alertness continuous. Otherwise, these things just jump around, and they're pretty neutral. You can be mindful of all kinds of things. You can be alert and watching yourself doing all kinds of things, and it still counts as alertness, whether the things you're doing are good or bad. But when you're ardent, you realize that if you do unskillful things, there are going to be bad consequences. So you do your best to avoid unskillful things and to develop skillful things in the place. That's the beginning of wisdom. There's not necessarily any wisdom in mindfulness or in alertness. When you're ardent about it, that's where the wisdom comes in. This is a principle across the board. We can read about things and say, yes, that sounds nice. The Buddha says, these are the causes of suffering, these are the factors you develop to bring an end to suffering. And you may decide that you agree in the abstract. But if you don't actually follow through, it's not really wise. The wise course of action is to realize that there are dangers all around. Aging, illness, and death are lurking. Aging seems to come at a gradual pace, but illness and death can strike at any time. You have to ask yourself, are you ready? Are there any qualities in your mind that would be an obstacle? to learning how to be ill or to die without suffering. If there are, work on them right now. Again, that's the, the message of ardency. So try to be ardent in your practice. Remember that what you do is going to make all the difference between whether you suffer or not, and whether, whether you cause suffering to other people or not. So be very careful about what you do. Don't be heedless. As the Buddha said, those who are heedless are already dead. It's the heedful that don't die. Now their bodies may die, but their minds don't die. The goodness in their minds doesn't die. The happiness they develop doesn't die. So be heedful, ardent. Do your best to do the practice. Because it's the best thing a human being can do.